Tyreek's trolling. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trolling now. <laughs> and listen, and I, and I said it before. Listen, I'm a podcaster now, Greeny. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Right? You got to say things that the people want to keep replaying the hits. <laughs> right. Right? So the first week, he had his show. He said something about Tua and Patrick. And it was all over the world. You guys were talking about sure. this and this. Yeah. The second week, they had Rick Ross on the show. Nobody said nothing, right? <laughs> so he came back the next week, and he said something about Tua, that Tua had to come out and play well and do a lot of stuff. This was a proven year. And guess what? He was back on Get Up. Mm -hmm. That's the point. But I, I do think this, right? And, and, and this is like all jokes aside. He's now the face of this franchise. Whether it be by money, whether it be by popularity, fame, whatever it is, Tyreek Hill is now the man on this team. He wasn't going to be bigger than Patrick Mahomes in Kansas right. City. He wasn't going to be bigger than Travis Kelsey in, in Kansas City. Even Tyron Matthew, to an extent, when it comes to leadership. Now, there's a microphone in front of Tyreek each and every week because he's the most known, popular player on that team. And I think now he's starting to feel himself a little bit. It's like with the change of scenery came a change of personality. With the green in the bank came an opportunity. Now, I can really be me. Mm. And he says this thing about Tua, and we say, oh, I like that. And he was like, oh, they keep talking about me. My face is everywhere. I haven't even caught a pass in Miami, and Greeny can't stop putting my clips on Get Up. I'm going to say it again. And so I think every time he says it, he, he, he's, he's, he's starting to want to believe it, but he knows, just like we know, that even if Tua Tungvaluwa has this breakout year, the guy that you see throwing in OTAs when nobody can sack him, when they're not shoulder yeah. pads on, when they blow the whistle, they can run by you, then Tyreek can get wide open, and now you can throw it to him and pitch, pitch and catch. That's not what you get inside of stadiums. I think Tua Tungvaluwa is going to have a breakout year. I'm not going to say that he's going to be better than Patrick Mahomes and for sure as heck not going to say he's the most accurate quarterback in the world. All the stuff that Tyreek is saying, though, does it, is it, does it help Tua? Does it harm him in any way? Is, is, does it have any impact? Yeah, I think it hurts. I think Tyreek's mm. intention is an A+. Plus. I think the execution is really poor because you're just bringing more attention. This is a really well-built team with a massive question mark at quarterback. Mm. And they're probably going to be the third best team, in my opinion, in the division because of the quarterback. So if you're Tyreek Hill, I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to build up a guy that's had a very inconsistent beginning to his career. But you could do it by talking about all your teammates and what you're going to do collectively. And you're just putting a bigger target onto his back. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I kind of disagree with the idea that there's any potential harm in it because I don't think the Dolphins are going to evaluate Tua based on mm. how he performs relative to Tyreek Hill's offseason <laughs> comments. Like, I, I, mean, I don't mean to be that's funny, true, but you're right. True, I mean, I right. think that's – so I think he's trying to pump his guy up, right? And, and I think that, that maybe Tua could benefit from that. He's talking about Tua's potential. Like, Tua's potential is not really – I mean, he was the five pick. Yeah. Like, he's not – it wasn't some, like, some fourth rounder that, you know, oh, he's better than you think. He's supposed to be really, really good. And if he's not, the Dolphins are in a lot of trouble. So, I think this is an organization and a player who's the, the now, as you say, the face of it, trying to do everything they can to make this, this young man feel as good as possible about himself going into a well, crucial I, year. I, I think – I believe that's telling as well, though. Yeah. Right? If, if oh, we yeah. feel like the, – the reason that we may have not have heard Tyreek speak this much or this highly of about Patrick Mahomes, which he definitely never said bad things and he said great things about him, was because the rest of the world were, were saying those things, were saying those things too. Mm -hmm. And so once it became common knowledge, now if Tyreek Hill says, yeah, Patrick's the best player in the world, we don't really, it's not really, it doesn't touch us, right? It doesn't yeah. reach as many people. But with the question marks around Tua and him constantly saying it, I think it does put at least the eyes or more eyes on Tua Tungvaluwa. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.